Marcella Raymond was a USD English teacher for 25 years. She also was a stroke survivor over 10 years ago. Well, I had what I believe are four TIAs or mini strokes before the big stroke. Many of her symptoms were signs of strokes like dizziness, headaches, and her inability to move her left hand. She called her doctor after the third one, but the morning after her checkup, she had a stroke. By the time I woke up at six o'clock in the morning, I, cu I couldn't stand up and I had trouble um, moving. I, I couldn't get down the stairs by myself. Raymond was rushed to the hospital in Sioux Falls by her husband and stayed there for four days. She went through all kinds of tests before starting her therapy, which she says was the hardest part. So I had to use my bad hand and move those pegs from one side of the pegboard to the other. And I couldn't do it. Raymond was a heavy smoker for most of her adult life, as well as being a teacher, which she says is a stressful job and didn't know how to manage her stress before. In fact, I had spent about 12 or 13 hours grading midterm papers. I wasn't dealing with stress effectively. Um, I didn't think I needed to. After her stroke, she changed her life. I have never smoked since the stroke. I had my last cigarette in the car on the way to the emergency room. However, she still suffers little mishaps today because of the stroke. My hand, left hand, is not quite as coordinated as it used to be. I still hit the wrong keys on the keyboard sometimes. Um, my left leg and foot can still get a little draggy sometimes, especially if I'm tired. But she still perseveres and keeps getting better. And even now, I still feel like I get a little bit better, you know, as those new neural pathways <laughs> fine tune themselves. I, I get a little, things get a little smoother. Um, and, and I can do what I need to do. So I feel very blessed.